Welcome to ISE's Equity Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ISE and other industry indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, a derivative market specialist and investment manager with extensive expertise in options in the broader derivative markets. ISE trades options on more than 15 proprietary sector indexes, as well as broad-based indexes and a variety of licensed benchmarks. ISE continually enhances its trading systems and develops new index options products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC Equity Index Outlook for February 28, 2011. This is Patrick Sresna. As always, we start off with a chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Rate Fund symbol SPY. We add our focal point up at that 134, 136 area up along the upside, and we marked off that area as an area where we anticipated there to be a short-term market high. Uh, we uh, obviously had a, a news-driven uh, market correction on the downside, dr uh, driven by uh, what was happening in North Africa, but essentially um, we had a, a reversal on Friday. The question now becomes comes how does this all play out uh, well, the corrections coming right off the right level where it was supposed to the question becomes uh, is this the beginning of the deeper correction or whether this is just a short-term break before the market makes one more leg uh, back to the upside uh, the this week will actually play a uh, a pivotal role, particularly Monday and Tuesday again, uh, in terms of determining um, uh, how this is playing out. This current uh, 133 area where we're trading into uh, marks an area where if we have a rally uh, early in the week that fails uh, and reverses back down, we could find ourselves uh, very quickly down at the 127, 128 level on the downside. And that would probably mark off uh, a profit taking cycle that will uh, probably take weeks, if not months. Uh, to actually uh, finish playing out as the uh, S&P does a, a series of backfilling moves to kind of rebase itself. The, uh, if, uh, in the same regard, if uh, we have a scenario where uh, Monday and Tuesday come out very strong and we have the ability to get right back up into that 134 area on the upside, we, can, we, can, uh, we can't rule out the possibility that we go all the way even up to the 136 or even 136.50 area on the upside and then come off again to start creating a topping formation. Uh, overall, from a, a, a price action perspective, we do have an, a, um, some targets that do potentially go as high as the 138, 140 area, and we certainly cannot rule out a rally up into there, but I actually do not believe that that is a likely scenario. In the bigger picture, I think that uh, we're going to see some sort of topping formations, whether we're going to see the development of head and shoulders patterns, uh, double tops, or even sideways consolidation points. Uh, I don't uh, believe leave in the bigger picture that there's much more upside on the S&P here. doesn't necessarily mean that the market is just going to start crashing from here, but, but it also uh, there's a probably only marginal upside left on the S&P. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC U.S. Regional Banks Index, which is symbol JLO. That sell-off last week uh, really uh, uh, flipped uh, this index downwards, creating selling all the way down into what's this 124, 50, 125 area where the lows came in all along January. Uh, this is, again, the same type of a critical situation. This will probably trade very similarly to the S&P in a sense that if the, uh, the S&P rules on Monday and Tuesday and starts another leg lower, we probably will see those regional banks uh, uh, breaking all the way down to one. 124 or 123.50, but it's in the same regard. If the S&P makes it all the way back to the previous highs, then uh, this uh, 25 level could mark a short-term uh, low and have it swing all the way back up to the previous highs. Again, uh, the the first few days of the week are going to be very important, particularly for the bulls to try to uh, recover the damage that was done. Uh, if there's a failure of the bulls to show up for uh, for a, a reversal, uh, then the bears will jump on that and and uh, force another leg down. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Syndex, which is a symbol SIN. This is an index of all the casino, tobacco, and distiller companies. And this index in particular, uh, in a very big picture way, uh, was already at major highs. We weren't anticipating uh, too much more above that 135, 137 level. Uh, and and even though we couldn't uh, in the past week rule out that it was going to come up for a double top retest along the upside, uh, what is clear is, is that once the uh, selling started, uh, it, the 
this uh, really broke down all the way down to that 125, 127 focal point on the downside. In the bigger picture, uh, this uh, is probably uh, a, a bigger uh, topping formation on the syndex. We can't rule out uh, retesting of previous highs if the market stays relatively uh, stable. But but in the bigger picture, we don't we don't have uh, very much optimism that the syndex will uh, will have any new robust rallies. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Home Builders Index, which is symbol RUF. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, when uh, those housing numbers uh, started coming out in the middle of the week, we uh, had a very sharp drop in the home builders and essentially uh, almost a gapping move that way that you see on the charts here. Uh, now that we're consolidating down at these lows, this is again a make it or break it moment for those home builders. If, if they can't recover that gap uh, on the upside and we have any failures, then those home builders will all roll over and, and sell off again uh, the, just some uh, significant negative price action here uh, this 950 to 970 is a very critical moment uh, level on the downside that's where all the Fibonacci retracement zones lie if uh, we have anything that breaks those levels on the downside uh, it, mean, it may mean that these home builders could go all the way down to their previous lows or around that 8850 area so it'll be very important if the bulls want uh, to maintain any chance that the home builders can uh, can reverse they really need to dig in and hold that 950 970 zone on the downside next year I want to take a look at the ISC natural gas index which is symbol FUM and this natural gas index has said just had some very robust strength uh, and uh, and that's obviously been driven by a lot of these energy companies being uh, uh, bid up during the uh, the oil uh, crisis uh, in the uh, Middle East and northern Africa uh, really at this stage uh, all the measured moves we have on the upside are complete on on the natural gas index but if there's event driven uh, cat List like we're seeing, uh, we can't rule out the possibility that the, the natural gas index does what we call an extended move, which is being driven by that that catalyst news. That would that could means uh, we could see targets 140, 145 on the upside. But really, I find it difficult to be uh, wanting to be invested in this natural gas index without there being a correction. Anyone that's currently long, one strategy that you can utilize uh, is uh, to uh, buy a protective put uh, along the way to. to ensure that uh, the downside has been locked in while you continue to have all of the upside potential uh, in the index. Finally, I'll take a look at the IC Mini FTSE 100 index, which is a symbol UKX, and uh, we have a distinct sideways channel here on that uh, a FTSE between the uh, 590 and 610 areas. This will be very critical to see what happens if the whole S&P and all these global markets start reversing on the downside. FTSE will fail to rally back up to the previous highs and uh, and subsequently begin a sell cycle that could see 560, 550 on the downside during that uh, selling. But uh, at this juncture, uh, we don't want to rule out the possibility that it's going to go back to its previous highs if if that's what the um, the global markets are doing as well particularly things like the S&P 500 uh, so uh, so we'll be watching what happens here but really distinctly you want to treat this as a range bound market for now that was your IC equity index outlook thank you for joining me thank you for participating in this week's session please join us again next week for more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free index options trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE index options, visit us at www.ise.com slash index options.